Okay, hello everyone. So today in this uh, short demo, we are going to see how to set up single sign-on for your Adobe applications using Microsoft Azure as an identity provider. So the first step is to sign into your admin console, which I'm going to do right now. And um, select your identity type. And then you need to type in my email address and the password. So once you're signed into the admin console, you will see different tabs here on the top. Overview, products, users, packages, accounts, inside settings, and support. So you have to click on settings. And uh, yeah, so once you are there inside the settings tab, you will see different options here on the left hand side that would say identity, asset settings, privacy and security, console settings, content logs, encryption settings, and so on. So we, first, so we have to click on identity and then we have to create a directory first. So we will click here create directory and um, I'll give it a name and I'll select the identity type that I intend to use with my directory which is federated ID then I'll click next and uh, it says select the identity provider that your organization uses to authenticate users so if I select Microsoft Azure Active Directory then I will be uh, telling Adobe that uh, I want to sync my directory uh, with the admin console, which I don't intend to do right now. Uh, for now, I'm going to select this other SAML providers. So I'll select that and click next. Okay, now it has given me all these options. I'll just click cancel. Now, now I need to claim a domain, okay? So I'll click on add domain and then I'll enter my domain name here. I'll click next. Okay, now it says needs validation. So I'll click on add domain. So now it's going to, uh, let me just search for my domain here. Okay. So, if I click here, it takes me into this uh, page where uh, a text record is generated and I have to add this, uh, this DNS record into my domain uh, as a text entry and then I have to click on validate now over here in my admin console. So to validate this domain to uh, in order to let Adobe know that I am the legit owner of this domain, I have to log into my uh, domain uh, settings and then I have to add this uh, DNS uh, token there as a text entry so, which I'm going to do now so to validate this domain I have to log into my office 365 admin portal and once I'm signed in I have to click on the settings and then you have to click on this domains tab now I have to click on this uh, domain and then I have to go to DNS records. And I have to click on this add record button. So now I have to go back to my admin console where uh, uh, this text record was generated. I have to copy this record value from here. Just click on this button and this text record will be, this text uh, record, uh, this record value will be copied over. And then you have to go back here to your Office 365 admin portal and uh, the text name uh, uh, will be at the rate and the text value is something that I can copy from here. I will just click on this button, copy record value, go back here and uh, paste it and click save. All right, so this has been added as a text record. Now in this admin console, Page, I will click on this validate now button and let's see if we can validate this domain yes uh, so we have successfully validated our domain so we can now link this domain to the directory that we had created earlier so I'll just click on link directory and uh, from this drop down I'll just select the directory that I had created and I'll click 
link. Okay, so my directory has also been linked now. Uh, I'll click on this directory tab and I'll search for my directory. All right, so we can see that this directory contains this domain and the SAML settings have not been configured yet. So we'll click on configure. Okay, now we can log into our Azure admin portal and we can uh, set up the single sign-on settings there. Okay, so I'm now signed into my Azure admin portal. And inside the Azure Active Directory, I have to click on this Enterprise Applications tab. So we have to now click on this uh, plus button for new application. And then we have to search for Creative. Uh, there it is, Adobe Creative Cloud. So click on that and uh, click Create. All right, so this application template is being uh, downloaded and being set up on my Azure portal. Okay, so my application has been set up. So I can see the properties here. Now, what I have to do is to click on set up single sign on and uh, click on this SAML. All right, so here it says, uh, basic SAML configuration, identifier, entity ID, and other details are here. So I have to click on this edit button for identifier, entity ID, and assertion consumer service URL. We are going to edit those. Now, to find out these values for the entity ID and the reply URL, we have to go back to the admin console. So here is the ACS or the reply URL. So I'll just click here, copy to clipboard, and uh, we will paste it here and uh, go back and then we'll copy the entity ID, go back here, and then we will paste it here. Okay, now that's it. We just click on save. So after saving these values, we have to verify whether the user attributes and claims are set up properly. So Adobe has a HelpX article or a page uh, where it has clearly defined what uh, the user attributes and claims should be set up for, uh, for using single SAML through Azure. So if you go here, if, and, and you can easy, very easily find this KB article if you just go to Google or your favorite search engine and type in uh, Adobe Azure SSO HelpX, and uh, you'll be able to find this uh, help article. So uh, here are the user attributes and claims that uh, you need to configure on your Azure portal. So first name says user.given name. So I just click here, edit, all right. So user unique identifier, email address is set to user.email, and user.mail is also fine. First name is user.given name, and user.given name is here, that's also fine. Unique user identifier is user.user principal name, which is also fine. And the last name is uh, user.surname, and here is also, it's uh, configured correctly. So we don't need to make any changes over here on this portal. It looks all good, so let's just go back. Okay, and uh, we now have to download this uh, Federation Metadata XML and we have to upload this uh, XML on the admin console. So I'll just click on save file. Okay, now I'll go back to my admin console and uh, I'll get that uh, XML file. I'll drag and drop this XML file here on my admin console and I'll click save. 
all right so this has been set up properly it says azure ad saml and uh, that's uh, okay now let's go back to our azure portal and uh, so far everything looks good and uh, yeah let's add a user and then we will test it out so go to the users and group and click on add user or group uh, i will click here and then i will select the default user that we have over here select then click assign okay now you can just go back to my admin console and I'll also add this user into my admin console as well. So just click here, users tab, add user, and I'll add the email address. Oops, there is a typo. Okay, so looks okay. Uh, I'll just click save. All right, so now this user has been added into my admin console, and we can see it here. So let's test whether single sign on works for this user. I will open a private window and navigate to adobe.com and uh, continue to the United States. I'll click on sign in. Then I'll just enter the domain name to see if I'm being redirected to my IDP portal. Yes, it does redirect me to the IDP portal. All right, so I'm signing in with my Azure account. And uh, let's see. It, all right, so it seems to have worked and uh, it has allowed me to sign in with my Azure account. So that's it, very, a very simple process to set up single sign-on using your Microsoft Azure account. So, yep, yeah, thank you very much and uh, wish you a happy rest of your day. Bye.